Back to Marvel Live from New York Comic Con 2014, brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. I am Lorraine Sink, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, and I'm joined by Mark Bagley, very talented artist. You're currently working on Hulk. Hulk, yes. Hulking out all the time. So were you at the signing yesterday for 75th anniversary? I was. That was really cool. That was was it really fun? fun. Yeah, Did the you... fans were fun. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just hanging around with guys I haven't seen in years, and, mm -hmm. you know, legends I've, you know, wanted to meet, got to, and... Did you geek out on anybody? Do you get a chance to? Geek out on anybody? Yeah, I try not to geek out. You, too much. you keep a low prof. A lot of the guys I would geek out on died years ago. So <laughs> it's like, you know, so my fans are, they go from kids to 10 years old from up to, to guys who are balding and gray. And it's like, I knew you when I was a kid. I remember your stuff. And I'm like, oh, God. So. <laughs> Did you get to sit with anybody cool? I sat with uh, Nick Spencer and mm -hmm. I sat with. Um, we saw him yesterday. Uh, Justin Ponzer, and oh, I nice. just sat with uh, Umberto Ramos, whose oh, name yeah. I just love to say, Umberto. It is a good one. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it was that. So my wife was there, and she was funny as hell. Oh, yeah, uh, why is that? Because she's funny as hell. Oh. That's basically what she does. <laughs> That's, yeah. Oh, awesome. So. It's good to have funny people in your life. Yes, it is. So what panels, or are you doing any panels? Are you doing any I've stuff I've done a panel. Day? I was on a panel, mm -hmm. uh, the, Mar the Friendly Neighborhood Marvel panel oh, yesterday, yeah, which yeah. is sort of the worst panel I've ever been on. Oh, why is that? <laughs> oh, no. It was 45 minutes long, and it's not my, anyway, but it, there were nine people, and seven yeah. of them were writers, and, was, and poor little Lee, uh, Rick Leonardi and I sitting on the end going, when it's writers, you never get a word in it. <laughs> and so, I, but, uh, <laughs> so, but it was fun. I, we always have fun, and uh, did that panel, and I did the thing last night, the meet and greet, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear from me. Oh, they untrue. They want me to stay at my desk and work. Well, you do have magic hands when it comes to the artistry of things, so, oh. Just the art, no. Just, 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 yeah. just the artistry. That the other thing, so. Yeah. I, I, I work hard. I've had real jobs. Good. Yeah, you, and you're, you're a busy guy. Now, Hulk, you were previously working with Mark Wade. Right. And now you're working with Jerry Duggan. Yes, who I met last night for the let's, first time. Let's make them have an argument. Who do you like better? No, not, not really. But what has it like been transitioning from one to the other? It's been pretty easy. I mean, yeah? I, you know, I love what Mark was doing. And he and I had joked about working together. We'd never worked together. Mm -hmm. We joked about working together like three months before at a panel. Mm -hmm. And this popped up. And um, he had to get off pretty quick for some reasons. And mm -hmm. they brought Jerry on, who I didn't know from Adam. And uh, <laughs> and I just, he's, he's a blast to work with. He's easy to work with. He's, he takes input really well, you know, because he really doesn't know what he's doing. So, oh, you know, poor guy. But, <laughs> but no, he's just been great. Yeah. So having a blast. Yeah, he's, he's a good fellow. Uh, now, what has it been like? Hulk is a little, he's looking a little different. He's going through some different stuff. Doc Green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they shoved extremists into Bruce Banner's head because he mm -hmm. got shot in the head and brain damage. Yeah, he's and, been uh, through a few things. Yeah, and that, it isn't working out so well for everybody. He's going around de hulking all the Hulks, which. I've drawn things. I did, you know, ten years when I got in this business thirty years ago. If I tried to draw an arm being broken in half with just barely the bones not sticking through the skin, mm -hmm. they didn't. No, 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 no. But now it's like, oh, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know. So I'm drawing things, it's amazing things, and so it's a lot of fun. Is that fulfilling to be able to be a little less censored as over the you years? You know, it's. I, I don't know if I find it fulfilling. It's fun, but it's also kind of cool to be subtle. You know, uh -huh. and it's also kind of cool to leave something to the imagination mm -hmm. and. Um, but it's yeah, always good too. So. <laughs> you, you've done so much work. What have been some of your favorite? I know it's so hard to pick your, you know, to pick which are your favorite children, right? But what have been some of your favorite pages or favorite uh, arcs you worked on? I had somebody ask me what my favorite issues were, and you, mm -hmm. you just asked me for pages. I, um, <laughs> Even harder. You know, Ultimate Spider-Man as a run, as a, as as a thing, is mm -hmm. like it's such a body of work. When you look, I've yeah. got the hard covers and like this wide on my bookcase and it's like you know when people look back at comics you know 10 years from now a little mini series here a little mini series there you see that you know and it, it influenced mm -hmm. it's influenced i don't know 20 years of comic book readers really yeah. i've got more girls coming to me saying that that's what got them into comics more, more guys who are in their 30s and 40s now and so i'm really really proud of that whole thing and uh you know, when it comes to issues, you know, the death of Ultimate Spider-Man, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, oh. I, I mean, I, I cried. It was like, you know, I was like, I don't cry, you know. But, uh, yeah. you know, I teared up. And when they go into the, to his funeral oh. and it, with Aunt May and a little girl with the it burn on her face, is... that's my granddaughter. Yes, and we took pictures of it. We couldn't get her to quit smiling because she's a goof. So my daughter <laughs> told her we were canceling her birthday. And, whoa! 
<laughs> the reference shot. Uh, it's a true story, I swear to you. I didn't Do you know still about have that photo? Uh, I never saw the, f well, yeah, I had to, it's on my phone, it's gone, I'm sure. Oh, but, uh, God, I would love her. to and, see those side by you know, side She's so being much. held by my daughter and my son-in-law, who for some reason is, is colored Latin. I don't know why, he looks good Latin. But it's like, you know, my little grandson's there too, so. Uh, oh, I, that is really one of those pages or, or even just that, you know, small oh, she section. she says, do you want a hug? Yes. Yeah, I, uh, it's like, I, I tried to tell somebody about it over the phone and I literally choked up. And, I, and seriously, I don't do that very much. I mean, I got five brothers and they all beat me up growing up. So it's like, <laughs> I, I, I can take pain. And, it's like, and I've been married 35 years. I can really take pain. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so it's, it, it, that, that, that I thought came out pretty well. That is so cool. And I, I see it everywhere. I see it all the time. I know you don't tumble or tweet. That's not your thing. But that's one of those things that I see it come up on my Tumblr like every few weeks with just people being like, I, I haven't even read this issue and I'm crying. It, I see it constantly. I'm, I do see a little question here on the Twitter. You guys can tweet us. I'm, I'll try to balance a little bit. But hashtag Marvel NYCC. Uh, Don here says, uh, I love how incredibly humble Mark Bagley is. I love what he said about being subtle. It's a lost art. Yeah, it kind of sort of is, yeah. Uh, do you th what do you think is the biggest change from when you started to now? What a broad question, but what, what do you think is the big difference if you had to choose one? Man, that's, that's interesting. I think the freedom in the market now from, mm -hmm. you know, internet comics to, to alternative companies to, mm -hmm. you know, when I got in, if you really wanted to make a living at this, you were with the big two. Mm -hmm. and Dark Horse came along in the big three and Image, but I mean, it's blown up. And yeah. you know, technology's made everything faster and everything easier, mm -hmm. and uh, and in some ways more difficult. But um, it's all about putting your ass in the chair too. You know, getting, yeah. getting the work done, and that's that may be the biggest change: is people not willing to do that. Yeah. So, you know. So, you know, they should be be, be like me. You know? Work a yeah, lot. Exactly. All yeah, I'm the so time. humble. This is me being <laughs> humble, guys. So. Thank you so much for joining us. You do have a Facebook page, though. Yes, my daughter runs it. I've never been there, so. <laughs> so you can't talk to him, but you can talk to his daughter. Be very nice. Do you know what the URL is? I have no idea. So <laughs> go to Google Facebook. Me and go to Facebook. And, yeah. <laughs> Look at Mark Bagley. And, uh, what else do you have coming up? Anything else exciting for the My con? run on the Hulk goes through issue 16. And uh, after that, with everything being blown up at Marvel with Secret War and all that, uh, they're shuffling the deck. And I have an inkling what I'm doing, which sounds really interesting, but I can't talk about it yet. Okay, we will save it. So. But we, we'll be back with you on Marvel Live very soon. We are brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. Stick around and keep sending us those tweets and hashtag MarvelNYCC. See you soon, you guys. Bye-bye. Welcome.